Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by. And you got here just in time. That's right, as the title says, just in time to visit Colorado City State Park. Out in West Texas. West by God, Texas, I say. Took us a little while to get here from Lake Mineral Well State Park. Of course, we stopped and shopped at the grocery store. Let's talk about the site real quick. We're, we, this is our second. The site I booked wouldn't work. It's very deceptive. Could get the light right here. Light's horrible today. Should be better tomorrow. But anyway, the sites are very deceptive as far as getting level. As you can see, my two front wheels are off the ground. And when we, or the original site we had booked is up there, number 49, and our rear wheels would have been off the ground. That would require blocking. So we, we altered, we, we defaulted, There's, as you can see. <laughs> it's not like it's a crowded park. But, it is a very quiet park. I don't even remember what number we're in. 37. It's a 50 and water, 50, 30 and water, asphalt pull through. I haven't even disconnected white lightning and probably won't. We're here for two nights shooting video and just enjoying some peace and quiet. Pull through, asphalt, kind of, not really level. Side to side is all right. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook. We can camp in style now. Picnic table, wood picnic table, under a shade. Oh, there's a lantern hook up there too. <laughs> oh man, two lantern hooks. And a fire ring. There is no burn ban. So I'll be pulling out the pan stove and having a fire over here. So let's, I've already deployed a little red. Let's go see some stuff. So it is Saturday, like November 17, 22. This is the back end 30 amp loop. Remember, it's Saturday. Saturday about 2.30, 3 o'clock. And there's only one RV over here. This is a great locale for Starlink, by the way. Anyway, when, we, when you're looking at this campground on Google Earth, there's this structure down by the water. So we're gonna, we're gonna go down here and see if we can figure out what it is. So the, the answer is, it is no more. Whatever it was, it looked like a fishing barge. So this is Lake Colorado City. Uh, it, is, it is very low from look, looking at Google Earth. It's, it's been very low for a long time. This lake was originally built to supply drink municipal water and water for a power station. And the power station is over there, but it's no longer functioning. So the lake is, now the lake is just for recreation. I don't know what happened to the municipal water supply issue. Anyway. Let's go see some more stuff. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see, but I don't really have handicap accessible showers on the back end loop. Let's, we'll have to check the other loop. Let's go see. So if you're looking for a kind of out of the way place to have a group gathering, they actually have a recreation hall here. And judging by the few number of people here on a Saturday yeah might be a good thing to visit all right let's go see some more stuff I had a conversation with the, the campground the park host 
He's relatively new here, but he said he's pretty sure this place is really busy during the, the, the warmer season. But it's been very quiet since he's been here. I'm, I'm in the primitive loop. These are water only sites. You, you, you get to choose. <laughs> There's a lot to choose from. There's a swing set way out there and all amongst all the prickly pear. Kids won't be playing on that one. All right, let's go see if we can find a, a day use area. As I said, Colorado City, Lake Colorado City was originally built for the power plant. And apparently the, the power plant was taken offline. That's why, one of the reasons why we don't have enough electricity in Texas is we had so many of our power plants taken offline. It wasn't cost effective to bring them up to new EPA standards. Anyway, let's, let's see if we can find a beach or something. I have not found a beach. But I did find a fishing platform that is <laughs> the first series of floats are sitting on the ground. That means the lake is like super low. Maybe that's why they took the power plant offline. This is a big one though. doesn't appear that the water here is very deep. I've said that at just about every lake I've been to this year. All right, let's, let's go see what else we can find. Let's go find some more stuff. A handicapped shower. That's, that's near the, I think they call them the limited use cabins or something. Anyway. Let's go see some cabins. If you want a really cool camping experience and you don't want to sleep in a tent and you don't have an RV, or even if you do have an RV, because there's 30 amp in water at each one of these cabins. Now check this out. You, you have a barbecue cooker and a fire pit, a bench, a table on a porch, Kind of looks out toward the lake. They're locked. So. One of the cabins was left unlocked, so we get a, a look from all four corners. That's like a full size bed and a twin. Another full size and a twin. Your little kitchenette. Those are cinder block structures, so they would be pretty safe in a tornado. Most important thing is an air conditioner. I think that's probably a heat. Looks like there's eight or 10 cabins and there's only one that's occupied. Wow. If you're traveling east or west, past Sweetwater, past Colorado City, this would be a heck of a waypoint stop would sure beat hanging. This would beat a hotel parking lot all day long. <laughs> all right, let's go see some more stuff. On the Colorado City State Park map, there's a location identified as the bank fishing area, <laughs> which is where we are. In reality, I guess it's still a bank fishing area, but this is where they had the designated kayak launch you, you gotta travel all the way up there down here you, you you can't drive down here 
but what caught my attention was I guess they must have had another fishing platform over here I don't see any paths or sidewalks to get to it certainly not handicap friendly if you come out here during the summer you're gonna be mindful of where you're stepping this is definitely rattlesnake country it's been closed for quite some time so long in fact that the barricade put up has fallen into disrepair we need to go find a boat ramp all right let's go see some more stuff I, I, I was starting to get worried that I wasn't gonna see any playground structures here at Lake Colorado City State Park got some of those great swings that you can swing real high and jump off all right let's go find a boat ramp on the way to the boat ramp I found a beach a swim beach we even have some picnic tables and and shade structures so if you don't want to swim you can sit there and watch people swim i'm still looking for the boat ramp if if you're a fan of prickly pear and mesquite this is a state park you need to visit well, I have good news. The boat ramp is still in service. It's a long way down to the water. But at least you can put your boat in the water. All right. And there's also the day use stuff here. So if you get tired of floating around on the water and you want to have a picnic, there you go. All right, let's go see what else we can find. I wonder who that belongs to. <laughs> it probably came from one of those. They look like they're in pretty bad disrepair. Uh, the one even has trees growing on it. If if you're a young person, that's that's big fun right there. Of course, there's a sign up there that says diving may be dangerous due to shallow water i won't be doing any diving all right let's go let's go see some more stuff so if you're looking for a place in west texas to have a fun family reunion family gathering uh, some kind of shindig then lake colorado city state park has got you covered with a big group pavilion that has a really big offset smoker you can cook up a big old mess of ribs and brisket in that bad boy right there oh and you can shoot some hoops too if if you're into shooting hoops all right let's go find some more stuff good morning from lake colorado city state park sun is coming up we can actually see the sun and we actually see a little bit of lake back there still a little bit chilly but way better than it has been the last two days we're done here we're about to head head back east towards Horde Creek, Hordes Creek Lake, Corps of Engineer Campground. Actually, there'll be two. But we're here to talk about Lake Colorado City State Park. This is not going to be in my top five, but it is a really nice. I mean, the, the campground is pretty well clean, except there there is one thing we've noticed. See, there, there's a hole there. We think there's a pretty healthy rodent population in this state park.
is several of these big cactus clumps. You can see where the, I don't know what kind of rodents they are. I'm sure they're <laughs> some kind of, some kind of rat. They, they could be prairie dogs for all I know. It's driving my rat terriers nuts. <laughs> we come outside to do our business and they're too busy smelling the ground to get things done. Make sure you put rodent deterrent spray on your RV so that you don't take any rodents with you when you leave. So I like Lake Colorado City State Park for what it is. Now that this, if you have a boat, a kayak, it's probably a great destination. There's on, there are only two hiking trails and they are truly hiking trails. The big thing this Texas State Park has going for it is it is. Well, this time of year, it's super quiet. There's a little bit of highway noise, but other than that, it's, it's so quiet. We've had RVers traveling, using this as a waypoint stop, come in about five, six o'clock, and then they're gone when we get up in the morning, about seven. Uh, so it is a fantastic waypoint stop if you're traveling east or west on I-20. As I said, it, it's not, not so much of a destination, but you could literally spend a week here in peace and quiet. I guess if you're, if you're hitting all the Texas state parks, you're gonna like this one. It's better than some and not up to par with others. I'll leave it at that. We're done. We're gonna head, as I said, we're gonna head back east. We're gonna go pay a visit to Hordes Creek Lake and check out the Corps of Engineer campgrounds there. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you'll see those in the next two weeks. The next two Sundays will be Hordes Creek Lake. Meanwhile, so make sure you click on the subscribe button because you don't want to miss the next two weeks where we head over to Hordes Creek Lake. I've heard some great things about Hordes Creek Lake. If this is your first visit, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. That's, that's why I get to do what I do. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?